Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to fight Shadi with the water sword. This will require you to know how to zip glitch and menu glitch which I have already made tutorials on. This will take a very long time to do but it's good practice for zipping and menu glitching. We will start off with the checkpoint we get after we first teleport through time. I align myself with the end of the carpet here and do a roll zip to skip past a story gate. Story gates are the mechanism which keep track of where you are in the game, since this game is semi open world. The story gate trigger is just outside of the entrance, so by skipping past it we can keep on a lower story gate which will help us later on in the game. There is a life upgrade here which we normally get after we get the slow down time ability. But if you are fast enough you can get this life upgrade without needing the ability. If you are following along with what I'm doing, make sure to save at every single point you can. It is very annoying to make a mistake in having to redo 3 hours of progress. Because of the story gate triggers we skipped at the very beginning, the rocks are aligned with the mech tower. Luckily for us, story gate triggers don't influence everything in the game. Some events, such as the Shadi fight, aren't tied to story gate so we can activate it at any time. We'll progress through the game as if we're going to the mech tower. Once we reach this checkpoint we will go down these stairs and onto these wooden planks. Once we reach this point we will activate a story gate which will put us in a later part of the game. We will drink from this fountain and if you look closely the lever just appeared. There is a life upgrade here so we will be turning the lever so we can access the entrance to this life upgrade. You can get to this life upgrade like normal but I like doing these small little tricks to save time. We will be making our way back and aligning the lever with the water tower. Make sure to save here because the next upcoming tricks can be difficult. Since we haven't unlocked the ability to slow down time, we will have to use other tricks to get past this area. Here I like using the menu glitch and boosting the vertical wall run. If you don't know how to do this trick, watch my other video explaining it. We will be making our way through here to get to the life upgrade. The small skip here is not necessary, you can go around the normal way, but I like to speed things up. We will be making our way back the way we came from. 
If this door is shut, you can either zip through here or just progress through the game like normal and this door will open. We will have to skip a large portion of this area to get to the life upgrade. Here I align myself with the wall and zip 3 jumps. I do 4 here but that's not necessary. Since the enemies aren't here, it means the area has not been loaded. We will make our way back as if we were playing the game normally. I'll make my way through the water tower and then grab the life upgrade. You don't need to activate the water tower here, but I choose to because it gives us access to the lion sword. We'll progress our way back to the main hall where we can get our lion sword. Now we will be making a detour that allows us to get the rest of the life upgrades. We will be taking a route back to where we got our first life upgrade. If you hadn't got this life upgrade at the beginning, now's the time to do so. I'll be lining myself up with this wall and zip 3 parry attacks. This will send me straight for the wall where I can grab this checkpoint. I will grab this checkpoint and fall off the edge, this will load the next area we need. You can either choose to complete this puzzle or zip past it, I choose to complete it and take the checkpoint. Usually we are able to fall off the edge here twice to become the Sandwraith, but due to weird story gate triggers we aren't able to do so until later. I'm going to progress through the prison like normal and kill these three sand creatures. I'm going to do two simple parry attack zips to get to the scorpion sword. After killing all the enemies, I recommend you progress through the game like normal. You could zip your way back into the prison area, but I don't recommend doing so since we don't have enough sand slots. If you run out of sands while zipping, you might softlock and have to load up a previous save. After killing the thrall, we can make our way back to get to the life upgrade. Since we have the scorpion sword now, we can break through these walls to get to the life upgrade.
I'll make my way through the library like normal. If you don't see these doors smashed by the Dahaka, it means we have to do some glitches to get to the next life upgrade. You can either choose to zip to the next life upgrade, but I couldn't find a good one to get there. So instead I'll be using a menu glitch. I'll be using a slow-mo iteration of the menu glitch. I'll be menu glitching this swing pole jump to get me to the next life upgrade. I'll be taking the route that leads us to the mech tower. By taking this route, we are able to get the life upgrade at the mech tower. It is very important to grab this save point. We can die here and become the sand wraith. There is an upcoming trick we'll have to do which will avoid a soft lock. This trick may fail, so taking this checkpoint is important. If we just progress normally, the game will pull us in a cutscene which will self-lock us. To avoid this, we will have to jump at the exact same time the cutscene triggers so we can grab the ledge. Normally we will just be infinitely falling through the void, but since we grabbed the ledge, we are safe. We will make way through the mech tower as if we are completing it. The door here is locked, so we'll just use a simple parry zip to get past it. Once we get to this point, we can break this wall and get the life upgrade. You can either choose to complete the area or just zip past it by using some roll zips.
I just zip past this door so I don't mess with any story gates. Now we can make our way back to the main hall. We'll be aligning the rocks to the first position where we can go to fight Shadi. We won't be fighting Shadi yet since we have to grab the life upgrades near her. We'll progress through this area like normal and grab this life upgrade. Once you get to this point, you want to take the checkpoint here and not trigger the fight. Instead, we'll be using a zip here to let us avoid the fight trigger and let us get the life upgrade. Since we have to go grab the water sword, we can't trigger the fight just yet. We'll progress through this area like normal so we can go to the hourglass room. It is very important we do not touch this plate since it will take us to a different area. Once you've made to the hourglass room, we finally have the water sword. We'll make our way back to Shadi where we can finally fight her. Once you make it to Shadi, you can finally fight her with the water sword.
If you did follow along, I hope you had fun and thank you for watching.